this sort of action. The audio sounds good. Welcome to my channel. Yes, I know it's November. I've definitely had this Christmas tree up since November 1st because it is 2020 and I deserve it. So it's election night and I don't want to focus on that because who wants to do that? I'm gonna make an apron. I've always wanted to have like a cute kind of frilly white apron. Not that I do much cooking or anything, but like I thought it would be fun to make an apron. And I got this bed sheet, so like, look, let's fucking make an apron. Let's go. Oh my god. <clears throat> Voice over Chelsea here. So, first, we're gonna need a pattern, because I'm actually going to use a pattern in this. And for this pattern, I'm using this Pinterest pattern thing. I'll link it below for you guys. I got really confused with that, so I just decided to re redraw it. Redraw it because my brain could not function with that for some reason. I basically just put the shape of the bed sheet out and then the measurements of the bed sheet and then put my measurements for the pattern on top of that in the orange pen. And if you want to pause to get those exact measurements, go right ahead. Throw in that bed sheet out and to not throw it out evenly like the first 10 times I tried. And then next we just measure squares, basically. And the really great thing that I loved about this bed sheet is that it is this kind of pinstripey design, so it was really easy to just follow that line. Even though that still didn't end up working for me, but... And this is where I pinned to get the bottom per corner. Yes. Also, I'd like to take it to this time right now to apologize if my voice sounds like crap. Because... I'm sick, so uh... Yes. Sorry about that. Hello. We still don't have an election result, so I'm um, gonna keep... keep sewing. I gotta change the thread in this is a still black thread. That's wonderful. Okay, let's hope I have white thread. Otherwise, this is gonna be a little funky. I would like to start this off by saying this is not how the pattern from Pinterest says to do the straps. For that pattern, you're supposed to sew just like do a roll and roll hem, I think is what it's called. I folded them in half and then turned them right side out and ironed. I actually ironed this project because the fabric was too much of a pain to do it without it. I am now just cutting down that edge so that it's actually even and more ironing. I was very lucky to only have to do two edges of the main body portion of this apron because I did have the actual hem of the bed sheet and then the one side where there's like some sort of material I don't know it kind of reminds me of a bias tape don't know what it's actually called Finishing up the ironing of the hem, which was a double folded hem. I think it ended up being like a third of an inch? Maybe half of an inch? I'm not 100% sure. 
it's it's just even. And then sewing for what seemed like days. And that's because it did take me multiple days to do just the body of this. I guess here you can see that this is the edge that was originally the outside edge of the bed sheet and I just folded that over one time because it wasn't going to fray. And here I'm attaching the straps to the apron and you'll see the edge here is again that flat edge of the outer edge of the bed sheet and those just went straight to the back corners of the bed sheet. What am I saying right now? Yes, and then I found the center and measured a certain amount from that center point to attach the front of the straps. And then I pinned them on on the outside so that I could put it on and measure how much of the straps I needed to cut off. And then I did just that. I cut them off and sewed them on the proper side of the apron. I will also say my sewing machine started acting up again and I don't know, maybe it needs cleaning. But the rest of it was sewn by hand. So the apron is done. It exists as an apron, except it's a little bland. I mean, it's just, it's literally just striped white fabric. I'm gonna make a pocket out of this blue fabric that is also from a sheet set. I don't know where this sheet set came from. I don't know what it was originally used for because it's definitely <laughs> cut off already. And now to make these pockets just off the cuff, I measured how wide that edging was and then I made a little square. I wish I hadn't made a square though because they're kind of small, but they're kind of more for show. And then measured and made sure that that was going to be a decent size for the front of the apron and cut and cut and then I cut off the corners of the fabric just so it wouldn't get bulky and it would just fold over very nicely And then I pinned it in place and sewed it away. And thankfully my sewing machine did not act up on this. My guess is that either my sewing machine needs to be cleaned or I really did just have it at the wrong tension. Probably both. I guess we will see this in the reveal then. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. I don't know why I didn't film the reveal and the ending in one go, but I didn't. So overall, I'm actually really, really thrilled with how this apron came out. It's an apron, it is an apron. Pockets are a little small, but like they're more for decoration than use. I guess the only issue is that it's too big. Just in general, it could be a little bit less wide and then also 
shorter. And then the straps, you know, they're not my favorite thing. I wish they were thicker, but um, you know, they aren't, that's fine. It's not as if I can't replace the straps. I mean, it's a very simple project. <laughs> if I wanted to take things apart, very easy to do that. It is a success. I have succeeded at a project. So good. So that is gonna be all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please be sure to subscribe for more videos and also give a like. That was a weird, still getting into this, still getting into this. I'm hoping that my schedule will be every other Friday, so maybe. So the next Friday, the next upload will be Friday after Thanksgiving. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. He's a cool dude. I'm not thrilled that he's possibly gonna be the, the president. This video is gonna go out next week, so like, maybe we'll know by then who's gonna be president. Are all the bloopers of this just gonna be me talking about the election? Decided I was gonna do. Swear to God, I swear to God. I just wanna film the intro to this video. That's it, just the intro. Can I film just the intro? <sighs> Hello. Hello, this is my water. This, this is my water. <laughs> this is mine. You've got a cup of water over there. And, <laughs> are, are you serious right now? I, I've got a film. I'm already two minutes into this. Please don't chew on the microphone either. What are you doing? Fucking Barbie ornaments. You know, maybe in this video we're also gonna burn these. Hold this better, like a, you know, normal gay. <sighs> Get your paws out of my water.